Today was really a, a ride on behalf of Cycling Weekly, one of the uh, weekly magazines here in the UK. And it was with a number of our footballer stars and uh, Magnus Backstead, winner of the uh, Paris-Roubaix. So it was really a, a photo opportunity and uh, I guess a good chance for everybody to test their legs against each other and uh, some people did very, very well. No, I used to play football myself and all these guys are, are my mates and uh, since I was diagnosed with leukemia back in 2003, guys like this have been a, a tremendous support to our, our fight against this uh, dreadful uh, disease. So it's, the event itself is uh, London to Paris, which we've been a part of for the last four years now. And uh, every year, more people are asking to come on board, so it is fantastic for everybody involved. Well, I played with Jeff Thomas at Crystal Palace. Uh, we played England together, and it was very tragic, obviously, Jeff uh, contracting leukaemia. But, you know, he's a fighter, and it completely changed his life around, and obviously, it's affected all of us as well, and we've tried to help as much as possible, and it got me a lovely bike, I got kitted up, and I started getting out there. Um, just absolutely loved it from the off, so, you know, this is gonna be my third year in the trot riding the L2P but it's fantastic I think the camaraderie and, and just being with the guys and riding but obviously raising money for leukemia research is incredible and you know it's wonderful to be part of that you know we I've learned that um, over, over the last 18 months that it's, it's such a hard sport that you need all the help you can get so we can help each other up some of the hills and and, and some of the long, long distances we're going to do, then that's better than trying to beat each other up. So until we get to the first hill, and then it'll be uh, this last up to the top loses. Here, look at that. I think Andy Schleck is going to have issues next to you, mate. You can still see that they're lacking a few miles and you know the winter's been hard on everyone I think uh, with all the snow and the cold that we had but no doubt they'll all be ready for, for London to Paris. You can see they've got the fighting spirit like uh, like any sort of professional athlete has and uh, you know you give them, give them half an inch and they'll, uh, they'll definitely die for it so uh, I, think, I think they'll be fine. We'll click down one more. There you go. Now you can start changing back up again. There you go. I mean, I'm new to cycling, to be honest. Um, I've, I've been riding a bike for you know, a couple of years, but urban riding, just central London and to and from the BBC or whatever. And so to come out like this with these people as well, they're so experienced and it's a massive difference. Um, it's a lot, a lot of technique you've got to learn, gears, how to stay ride close, stay on somebody's wheel, as they say. Um, and just, just, I don't know, it's just a totally different, it's an endurance test, really. But uh, no, it's been really good actually. I mean, it's a tough ride today. There were some big climbs, and uh, saw Mark Bright on the bike for the first time, and you know, amazed that he survived it today, to be honest. But he did really well. John Salarco's as competitive as ever, and Lee Dixon looked really strong as well. So yeah, I'm confident with my team. Just Will Carlin, watch out. <laughs> 